Kingdom Hearts 4, it do be a game. Kingdom Hearts 4 is a pretty hyped game. Don't get me wrong. This game has a lot of people excited for it. I know we're in a lull period of not a lot of news information coming out about it, but you know, that just happens with any game nowadays. And there are still a lot of people excited despite that. And you know, there's a lot of stuff to be excited about. This is the start of a whole new era for Kingdom Hearts. We're going into a whole new arc, the Lost Master arc. There's gonna be a lot of changes in style and story and presentation and all this stuff. It really does feel like a big reset for Kingdom Hearts. And a lot of people are very interested to see where that goes, including myself. It is a hyped game. But I still see a lot of discussion online on whether or not a lot of people will care about Kingdom Hearts 4 when it comes out. Because I do see this stigma around Kingdom Hearts that doesn't seem to surround any other game series. You know, with the story, the Disney aspect, all that stuff. I see a lot of people discussing it in kind of a negative way. It's given the series somewhat of a weird image in the eyes of the general gaming public, I think. And there's a large section of people who have just started to move on from Kingdom Hearts for a variety of reasons. They've grown out of it, or they moved on to another franchise, and the lull in the news is not helping that. The story just got too much for them or something like that, and they started to move on from the series, and, you know, that's definitely affecting it somewhat, too. I think it's worth discussing how this might affect Kingdom Hearts 4 when it comes out, and how it might affect the series going forward, and what Square Enix could do to change that around. Will people care about Kingdom Hearts 4? But first, I need your help. Square Enix heard that I wanted some more Kingdom Hearts 4 news and decided to trap me in their basement. Got all this weird merch stuff here. Like, who would buy this stuff? Please like and subscribe so I can pay my ransom. Might as well make a video while I'm here. Roll it. Kingdom Hearts is not dead, obviously. You know, Kingdom Hearts is still a pretty big franchise. There is still a pretty large fan base of people who are fairly dedicated, I would say, and, you know, just eat all stuff related to Kingdom Hearts up, those people will, of course, buy the game and consume the products and stuff, and they'll stick with Kingdom Hearts no matter what. Outside of that, it's still a fairly big franchise. It's still one of the best selling around. You know, Kingdom Hearts 3 sold 5 million copies in the first week or something like that. People can have their opinions on Kingdom Hearts 3. You know, you, you either think that game is like the best game ever made or literal spawn of Satan himself. It's one of the big temple franchises of Square Enix alongside Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. Disney is supportive of it. They keep on letting them make the games and they're still profitable. So we're gotten Smash, and it's something that Disney themselves encouraged. But still, I would say that there is this stigma around Kingdom Hearts, at least in the general gaming community. Yes, every series has its haters, but there is this certain stigma around Kingdom Hearts that a lot of other franchises don't have. I think a lot of that comes from the story and the kind of meme around it being complex and crazy and ridiculous, especially for a Disney game. I've even made memes about it myself. You know, I've contributed to that. It's kind of been a meme that the story is a little ridiculous and crazy. In my opinion, the story is not that complex. I just think it is ridiculous and campy and you just got to embrace it. Just go along with it. And I think you'll have a fun time if you do that. If you watch the story explainer on YouTube, you can get the story pretty well, I think. But I still think it turns a lot of people off from it that might have been into it originally. And it might sound ridiculous to Kingdom Hearts fans, but the Disney aspect I do think has a lot to do with it as well. I think some people are turned off by it and can kind of see it as just stuff for kids. And I heavily disagree with that. I think it's very much evolved past anything like that at this point. But that Disney logo can turn some people off sometimes. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Another big part of it too is the fact that the series was segmented for a long time on different consoles with the different games on the DS, the 3DS, PSP, Game Boy Advance, all that stuff. That is definitely not the case anymore, obviously. With the Elden One package, you can get the entire series in one thing for just $30. It's a great deal. But on the mobile game side, yeah, that's still a problem. And as mentioned before, there is a group of people who say that they are starting to just move on from Kingdom Hearts because of those reasons I listed before. And, you know, that is sad to see them go. But people just kind of move on from things over time, and that's just how things work. But it does seem to happen a lot with Kingdom Hearts. I see a lot of things in my comment sections saying that um, even though the series is still ongoing, they're starting to move on to other things. And, you know, this is not a video to bash them for not wanting to play Kingdom Hearts. Obviously, that's not what we're doing here. Because I've seen this sentiment a lot as Kingdom Hearts is something you kind of grow out of. Eventually, it may affect the series going forward. Kingdom Hearts 3 did sell 5 million copies in the first week. Yes, it did. That is true. But I think the hype for that game died down fairly quickly. Expectations were way too high over years of hype. And I think a lot of people got disappointed by it. And I think that 5 million figure comes with a lot of asterisks to it. Because this game was legendary for a while. Like Half-Life 3 levels of like hype. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out 2006. Kingdom Hearts 3, 2019. 
There are games in between, obviously. We all know this, but for a general outsider or a more casual fan of the series, they didn't want to play these other games in between. They didn't want to do all this other story stuff. They just wanted Kingdom Hearts 3. And for a while, it was vaporware. Like, oh my god, this game's never come out. They're never going to make it. And when it finally did get announced, people were like, oh my god, this game's taking forever. It's never going to come out. I think a lot of general gaming audiences were shocked by that. It's like, oh my god, this game's so legendary. I have to pick it up. Or a lot of people who played it in their childhoods and were grown up now decided to come back to the series and, you know, play it again since the third title came out. A lot of the reason why that hype died out fairly quickly. And again, this in the video is not to shame anyone who does not like Kingdom Hearts. That's not what's going on here. This is just a video discussing its effects on Kingdom Hearts 4 and the series going forward. And you combine that all together, you get this stigma around Kingdom Hearts and something that turns a lot of people off. And it might affect Kingdom Hearts 4. I could see a lot of people saying that the story is going to get even more ridiculous now because it keeps on going. There's going to be adding more stuff to it. It's going to be in the real world now. When did that happen? Maybe like some older fans are going to be like, I don't like this new change in direction. What happened to the old thing? Why is it like this? All this kind of stuff. And it's going to be even better when they have to hear that in order to understand a lot of the story in this game. You're going to have to play a mobile game that doesn't exist anymore, and another one that hasn't even come out yet. So, that's going to be even better. <laughs> There'll probably be a story explainer in there like there was with Kingdom Hearts 3. Hopefully, it'll be enough. There is one counter-argument that's brought up a lot, especially by Kingdom Hearts fans that I want to touch on real quick, and that is uh, Metal Gear Solid, MGS. That is a game series that is also known for a campy and ridiculous storyline. It introduces a lot of weird elements. It goes back and forth in the timeline a lot. It has a very campy and ridiculous way of delivering its story sometimes. And just as a note, I've never played the full MGS series at all, but I do know how the story goes. But in my opinion, I think the difference between Kingdom Hearts and MGS is one, the subject matter. I think the more mature subject matter gives it a lot of leeway for some people. It does seem like the story is told a little bit more cohesively in MGS than it does in Kingdom Hearts. For the most part, the main story does stick to the PlayStation line of consoles even when it goes portable for the PSP and also just the mythization of Hideo Kojima and the idea that everything he touches turns to gold. I think that has a lot to do with it. That leaves Kingdom Hearts 4 and the series in general at this point in a very interesting position because we got the stigma around it, we got a lot of people talking and saying certain stuff about it with the story and subject matter, and you have the people who are saying that they're going to move on from Kingdom Hearts and stop playing it because of the reasons that I listed in the beginning, and they start moving on to other things, especially with this big drought of information going on. And we're about to start a whole new saga, we're about to start a whole new chapter of Kingdom Hearts, it's kind of like a reset, almost. I think it's going to be a pivotal moment for the series on whether or not it's going to continue being like a mainstream thing, and it's something that people get excited about, or it's something that people won't care about anymore, and it'll just be the hardcore fans, really. Now, I do think that Kingdom Hearts 4 will be a success. I still think Kingdom Hearts is still big enough at this point, despite all the stigma, to sell pretty well, get a lot of people on board, even if, you know, they don't have any idea what's going on, they'll still go on, maybe they like Disney themselves, and they hear a lot of stuff from like the dedicated fans and want to try it out. So I still think Kingdom Hearts 4 will be a success. If, and it's a big if, what Square Enix wants to get those people on board, because spoiler alert, you don't really need to get them on board, it's fine. But if they want to get some more people on board, there's a couple ways they can do that. One, they can try to keep this as new of a storyline as possible and not try to bog it down too much with what happened before. I mean, a lot of stuff that happened before has to do with this because it led to what's happened here with Sora trying to save Kyrie, the Master of Masters, Keyblade War, all that stuff. That affects what's going on here. But I think that since we're starting a new arc, it has to try to separate itself from the previous one as much as possible and try to set this up as its own new thing. From the style alone, it seems like they're trying to do that. So if they explain the stuff that people really need to know about the story going forward in a good way that people can understand, and can get people on board that way and get people interested, I think that that would be a good thing. Number two, I know a lot of people don't like to hear this, but getting a big world like Star Wars or Marvel in there, one of those big temporal franchises that Disney owns now into Kingdom Hearts. Ever since those series were bought by them, one of the biggest dreams of even like non-Kingdom Hearts fans is like, oh my god, they should add like a Marvel or a Star Wars world into Kingdom Hearts. That would be so cool. You know, even just more casual fans or non-fans say that. Just the hype around the announcement of that alone would generate enough buzz around the game to get a lot of people interested in it and maybe get like Star Wars or Marvel fans in there to play the game. And that's a big group of people, despite what may be going on with those series right now. In Normieville, that would do very well with them. You can feel about them what you want, but Normies do a lot of sales. That's just the truth. Frozen probably did a lot of good for Kingdom Hearts 3 when that was added in there. And hell, it's a pretty big tease in that Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. That looks a lot like a ATSD walker right there, that foot. So, you know, it's almost maybe confirmed. But at the end of the day, 
does it really seem necessary to get all those people on board and try to, you know, break the stigma or whatever to get more people to play Kingdom Hearts? Maybe long term, yes. Maybe long term, it could lead to many more people believing, even some of the hardcore fans, and it could get to the point where it becomes a problem. But right now, I think there are enough hardcore fans and, you know, just general fans. It will keep the series going for quite a bit. They could just keep on going with the story how it is and try not to cater to those people. And, you know, they'd probably be fine. But, you know, at the end of the day, Disney and Square Enix are both businesses. Their main goal is to make money, a lot of it, and find as many ways as possible to do it. They might be considering those options in the background. And I do think, especially like the Marvel stuff, will work in getting more people onto Kingdom Hearts 4. But they've been doing the same thing with the franchise for ever since Kingdom Hearts 2 really, and it hasn't changed up since. So maybe they'll let Nomura keep doing his thing and not interfere that much as long as the sales keep coming in because Kingdom Hearts 4 will still probably sell. But, you know, long term, they might consider changing things up a bit. But, you know, just to wrap this video up, let's answer the question in the beginning of this video. Will people care about Kingdom Hearts 4? Yes, obviously they will. And if they do the stuff that I mentioned before, even more people will care about Kingdom Hearts 4. And I do see that as a plus. I think more people getting into Kingdom Hearts is fun. But, you know, Kingdom Hearts isn't for everyone. Nothing is. So, you know, trying to cater to the most amount of people probably would not be the best idea. And trying to stick with what it does good will make it continue on for the foreseeable future. But if they try to do some more complicated stuff, long term, Kingdom Hearts, maybe people will stop caring and um, move on to other things. But Kingdom Hearts 4... I think we'll be fine. But that's all I have for this video. Tell me down in the comments below what you guys think about this. Do you think people will care about Kingdom Hearts 4? Do you think the Kingdom Hearts series might be in trouble? Do you think that Square Enix could fix this? Tell me down in the comments below what you guys think. Also, make sure to subscribe, like this video, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, turn on notifications. Really awesome if you did. This has been Matt, and I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever that's going to be. So yeah, 